Hey everybody, what's up? This is Devin Lavore and Michelle Lavore coming at you late in the midnight hour. Yes. All unorthodox, kids awake, kids sleep in the back. You know, we're just gonna just throw some stuff at you because we tried to uh we tried to do this video before and we, we got we had some stuff, important stuff that we had to deal with during his nap time, so we couldn't do our video during his nap time. Yeah. Yesterday we did a video. I mean, it was a long video. I don't know if you guys are even going to see it, yeah. but it was a really long video about the desires of the heart and answering questions and addressing some religious bondage. It was a really, really good video. But then it's like stuff started happening last night, yeah. And then stuff was definitely popping this today morning, yeah. and this morning, and we we're just like, "Whoa, stop the press! Breaking news!" Hot off the press, the Lord is moving. So we were just like, we got to do this video like tonight yeah. with him pulling your hair everything. all awake and everything. So mm -hmm. bear with us as we deliver some stuff that is guaranteed to be very encouraging. Yeah. So <laughs> you want to yeah. start with last night? Yeah. So uh, last night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So last night um, it was during our God time, during prayer, and. Um, I just started praying and and kind of to just share with kind of where I was at because really this whole week we've been um, a lot of people have been talking about all right this is declare declare the things that the Lord is speaking mm -hmm. and you know Monday Sunday Monday it was like yeah woo let's go let's go Come Tuesday, Tuesday morning Tuesday, it was, it was a push kind of like all right like, come on. By Wednesday, it's like, oh, okay, well, all right, like we're, all right, but we're still going <laughs> to keep going. Yeah. And and even um, all the way through last night, you know, it really has been just a, no, we're going to keep declaring, mm -hmm. keep saying what God has been saying. And um, Can I share something real yeah. quick? Because one of those mornings where we're just like, I don't feel like it. We're doing all this declaration stuff, and I'm just, I'm feeling like, uh. first off, that was an attack from the enemy yeah. to steal the motivation and to put a blanket of blase on the situation to take take your zeal. Yeah. And God, and, but I was like, God, what do I do? <clears throat> and God just said, come to the courtroom anyway. Yeah. And he showed me this uh, vision of us, of our whole family just coming to the court. There was no feeling or emotion attached to it all. Yes. Just come. What are you here for at the what are you here in the court of heaven for? Well, first of all, you're amazing and you're awesome and you're worthy of praise. Let's just get that out the way. Yeah. But then also, we're declaring some things for our family, promises fulfilled and and it was just like getting into the gym. Yeah. Man, I don't feel like going to the gym. But then once you all right, let's get my 10 minute warm up going. And once that 10 minute warm up was done, we're like, "Oh, well, all right. I'm ready to go. Yeah, we're, what's we're up? Good. What's what's we're first?" Good. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. And so and so for me, really, like last night was even kind of like that because it's like, all right, I'm just, all right, I'm just gonna start diving in and start mm -hmm. praying, and and so it was so awesome because. Are you I, serious? I have hiccups. Why is it every time we do this, I have hiccups? Keep I don't going. Know. So as I was praying last night, I um, got to see. I just got this vision of. Um, basically, everybody who's been waiting for promises, they were um, marching. It was a parade. In the, yeah, it was like in a parade. And it was we were going before what looked like kind of, you know, like we're in a kingdom, like this main way, you know, before before the, the king or just that main pathway. Yeah. And and there was just a whole bunch of us and we They're all on the main had, street of the yes, kingdom. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And 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 I could just tell it was everybody was just celebrating and it was very joyous and there was trumpets sounding and, mm -hmm. and everybody had these banners and like flags and, and and everybody was just waving them and shouting and and it was and just I felt this. like the banners were like, because you said each person had an individual yeah, banner. Yeah, because we had talked about, you know, like, you know, um, Lana Vosser back, gosh, last year, um, she was prophesying that this year the banner would be like dreams really do come true. Over many families. Over many families yeah. and and people. And, and so I was just like, yes, like 
these, I just knew everybody in that line. It was basically everybody who's been waiting for promises. Mm-hmm. That, but we were shouting and rejoicing because they all had gotten fulfilled. Yep. And every person <clears throat> had a different banner mm-hmm. over their life. And, and that's well, and weird. I felt like the Lord was showing me like it, that different banner that each person was waving. It was a revelation of who he was to them. Yes. It was like deliverer, savior, father, yeah. friend, mm-hmm. whatever, you know, and I was like, wow, that's amazing. Amazing yeah. vision. And it was really cool because <laughs> it was all different people. There were families, there were people who were single, there were married couples, I mean, Mm -hmm. young, old, it was just, it was really awesome to see that. And so I was just, I don't know, it was just really exciting because it was like, wow, but that we were all celebrating because we had already gotten, like they had all received their promises. And that's why I know, I'm sure everybody's paying (laughs) attention to the the little guy down here because he's, he's making, we're sharing this deep, Deep revelation as deep he's vision. People are like, wait, what? <laughs> I have to rewind. <laughs> I just have to listen to the audio. Yes. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> but yeah, keep going, keep going. And um and so we got that and and then last night um we were up pretty late again. Way after prayer. Way after prayer. As you see, he's still up. It's yeah. twelve thirty two. Uh oh. Yeah. It's 1232. He's still awake. Yeah. Well, and last <clears throat> night he was up really late as well. And we were talking to him. and Because he had a really rough day yesterday. Yeah. And so, um, <clears throat> but basically he was saying, oh, he was saying like, I can't wait till I have my own bedroom. And it, and I was like, well, don't worry. It's coming. And there's no lights, no TV, and no dad snoring. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, buddy. Yes. <laughs> And, and, and then he was like, but, you know, our promise is coming. And we we're like, yes, yeah. it is. Our reward is coming. Our reward yeah. is coming. That's what he said. Like, yeah, our reward buddy, is coming. Absolutely. Like, yes, yes, that's so true. And then we were just chit-chatting with him. And then he was basically saying, like, ah, oh, I, I see the one, I see the 101 and and I start I was looking at the computer yeah. and I'm like oh is it 101 that's well okay. he said it like this he was like oh god just showed me the 101 yeah it was like he pointed to something yeah and I was like and what? we were like what I was like it's not 101 on the yeah, clock yeah because there wasn't you couldn't see the clock and <laughs> and I was like what the one he's like yeah god showed me the 101 it, on the paper and, and we're right like, away we discern like oh, oh, okay you're yeah. seeing a vision yeah and um and so right when he said it you you were like oh like like 101 like we're going to the next level like of education of education learning from the and, lord and and so it was like well that's cool and then you went uh was, oh you took out garbage or something yeah something like and, that and and so then <laughs> um i was like well let's read psalm 101 see what it it says we're reading it and then <laughs> yeah <laughs> that wasn't it but um but when I read it, he was looking at the paper and he's like, well, mom, it wasn't on paper like this. It was on, do you remember our school paper that had blue lines on it? Mm-hmm. And and he's like, God took it and he just, he wrote 101 on it. And I was like, uh, oh yeah. So it's definitely uh, like confirms like that. It's school paper. It's like going to the next level. Like you were at level 100, then, you know, you take... 101 English 101 now. Well, it was and, like you were in high school. Yeah. Now you're in college. Yeah. It is a completely different life. Yeah. Uh, just an utter transition of life going yeah. on, you know? And so we got that all last night, and it was just like, okay, all right, Lord. And then um, again this morning. Well, go ahead. Well, I woke up this morning, and praise the Lord. <laughs> I woke up this morning. <laughs> With the song Everlasting God. Uh, oh, hi. He's waving to you guys. I woke up with the song Everlasting God. And that part that says strength will rise when we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. And it just kept going on and on and on in my head. And I was like, I knew right away. Like, this is not like a just a sit and wait. Or like, oh, great. We're, God's just trying to encourage me to wait for the promise because it's going to be longer than I thought. Typical. No, it wasn't any of that. It was just like wait on the Lord like because God has got something to say. Yeah. It's like strength will rise as we wait because he's getting ready to do something or say something. Yeah. Right? 
And I'm like, okay, Lord, this is awesome. It's uh, it, it's it's eight ten eighteen. It's time to do some reversing. Time to say something. No. Yeah. <laughs> and then why don't you tell them what you got? Then that'll transition me better into the the next part of my my thing. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. So um, mm-hmm. it was also during our morning God time. During God time, yeah. And um, we were doing the. Uh, actually, Elia was the leader tonight or this morning, and so mm-hmm. um, he put on. He wanted to listen to a song. It's one of our kids' songs, and um, it's called I think "Journey Off the Map" or mm-hmm. something. Off the map. And, and we've <clears throat> we've listened to this many many times, and um, mm-hmm. but on the sidebar it says "Unknown to us, known to him," and. It just really stuck out to me, like unknown to us, because um, last night we had made a phone call, and normally the phone um, the phone number it always pops up the a person's name, but this time it just said unknown, and we're like, oh, did we dial the wrong yeah, number? Yeah, we're like, why is your phone I, number say unknown, unknown all of a sudden? Yeah. <clears throat> and, and and so this just happened like the day before yesterday. Yeah. When we really felt like a shift and a change in things, yeah. it was just like, oh my gosh, things are ramping up. And then we call, and it's like unknown. And it really just kind of jumped out to it both really of us, did. right? I was like, hmm. Yeah, and so to see we, it, so I saw that people? last night, and then to see it again this morning, and I just really felt like God's like, you're you're going into the unknown. And like, that is You guys are connected. not going to pay no attention to this video, are you? <laughs> That's all right. We have to do it right now. I like this. We have to do it like this. And um, and so I just really felt like it was connected with the the 101, going to the next level, like going into college mm-hmm. in the sense of like it's unknown. You've never been there before. Yeah. And, and that God was saying like you're getting ready to go into the unknown and, um, well, and it will be like. Yeah, go ahead. It was like there was the unknown, like our 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 current life, how we've been living in these eight months, almost eight months in Nashville has been the unknown. But we felt like the Lord was telling us we're getting ready to go into the great unknown. Yes. You know, and it's like, well, what does that mean? Hey. Well, it means everything you think it means. It's like, but it's like, it's going to be unknown, but it's also going to be great. Yeah. You know, but it, it will be great in size. It will be great in, I believe, in extravagance. It will just be great in the sense of the word, in the, in the true sense of the word great. Yeah. You know? And I just felt like it's like, like it, we're going, it's a place that is unknown. Mm-hmm. But I also felt like it's like that whole idea of like the unusual and the mm. unprecedented. Uh-huh. And yep. just like it's all those words that have been yeah, coming forward like lately. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Well, if it's new, it's unknown. Right. It's like, it's just another way of saying new. It's like, like we said on our last video, it's like God's not doing this previous thing that he, mm-hmm. he did before. Well, one of the, also one of the cool things that happened last night is, you know, Michelle, she was having, you were, you were having a hard time with the whole, declaring and stuff like that. And it's like, oh my gosh, we've been doing this all week. And it's just like, no, by faith, we know yes. what God's been saying and we're going to step in. And you're like, I'm just going to step in. And man, she prayed. Do you know what I'm saying? Girl, pray. You know, some people can sing and some people, man, they can sing. Okay. <laughs> the girl prayed. Okay. <laughs> it was just like, and then when you get into that kind of intense prayer, declarations start coming out. Yeah. And she said, the walls have fallen. The walls have fallen. I remember yeah. you said mm-hmm. that. It was I was like, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I stopped her mid prayer. Yep. The Lord's in he's used to my interruptions. Anyway, so so I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying that like that's what you feel? And she was like, Well, that's what I'm praying for. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You you like declared that. Yeah. That came out as a declaration, yeah. not as a prayer. And you were like, you know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> and so or you love doing that, don't you? And so um, I was like, that's awesome. And so then today it was really cool, man. I'm telling you, it was really cool because, you know, strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. That was on my mind. And I was like, OK, well, God's going to do something right but I was just kind of like going with the flow. I was riding the wave. I was surfing, just walking with the Lord. 
And then all of a sudden, in the midst of uh, prayer time, this was after worship time. This was after our, uh, our our Bible time, which we did super book because when the kids leave, you can pretty much guarantee super book's going to yes. be on the menu. And um, <clears throat> and so I just got this vision, guys. It, it was really remarkable because for those of you who have been following our journey for a while, you will know. But for those of you who haven't, man, for like over a year now. Yeah, back in our, May of 2017. Our lives have been <clears throat> compared to being like, like on the ark, on yeah. Noah's ark, you know, and um, <clears throat> and we've been praying, God, let us out of the ark, let us out of the ark, and it's been actually before May, but that's when we got the idea, yeah, like, hey, this the, is what your life has picture. been like, yeah. and it's like, well, it's been like that since before May, it's yeah, been a long the time, of, very end of March, Maybe like a year and a half, yeah, but we've been praying a lot, Lord, let yes. us out of the ark, release us from the ark, all of our kids pray it, we he prays it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> um, and so this morning in a vision, I just, I saw myself inside the ark and I was standing at the door of the ark and it was like the ark just opened up. It just went. And I was like, I was standing and I saw it open and all this daylight just flooded in. It was so bright and so you couldn't see a sky out there, nothing. Yeah. And I was like, I freaked out because that's literally all I saw. That's all God showed me. And I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, whoa. I was like, Lord, don't play with me. Don't mess with me. This, I need to know if this is you or not. And the Lord was just like, don't, don't go there with all of those. Yeah. Is this really you, Lord? And all that. You know this is me in a sense. Yeah. That's what I was sensing, you know? And so I was like, oh, my gosh. I was like, the door is open. And it was just a sense of like, once that thing opens, it's just going to open. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it and it tied in to what Michelle prophesied last night about the walls have fallen. Because I felt like the Lord was like saying that door to the ark and that wall is the same thing. Yeah. It's the mm -hmm. exact same thing. It's an entrance. It's a door. It's a, this is getting ready to open and you're getting ready to come out. Yes. Now, the really cool thing about this is we have been we have started like a rewards program for yeah. our kids and we're not taking away anything from them because of behaviors or anything like that. We're just saying if you're really really good, you have an opportunity to to uh, earn, earn rewards. rewards. And so they've been really trying to earn rewards and being good and paying attention and and doing all the things that they needed to do. Yeah. Well, today was rewards day. Yeah. And and Annalise, I mean, I told him this vision about the door to the arc yeah. opening and And of course they they all they were just like they buried their head in their pillows and screamed. Yeah. You know? Because for them, I mean, they really know what that means. Yeah. And and understand it. And Annalise was like, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Dad, do you realize what this means? God gave you that on rewards day. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, he did. Yeah. And so I was like, wow. So we were like super, super encouraged by that. Yeah. To find that um, the next step, the thing that's going to happen is us. The opening of the door. The, the, the door is open, but it's already opened. I really felt like the Lord showed me that in the spirit. Like, this is what's going on in the spirit. The door has opened. Yeah. But it's, like it's, it's like, it's coming down. And I'm just like, I don't care how long the coming down part's going to take or whatever. Timing is not our business. But, um, you know what? Can I transition to something that's, that's related, but maybe a little different? Yeah. So we've been, like, getting assaulted like crazy by the sandwich numbers. All those numbers down there streaming down there. That's what a sandwich number is. And also, um, I've been seeing, like, 1110 a lot, yeah. right? Seeing that a lot, 1110. And I'm like, Lord, that's so weird. Because before, for the last couple of weeks, I've been seeing 1111. And now, all of a sudden, I'm seeing 1110. Because 1111, for me, it can mean anything to anybody, whatever. For us, 1111 means wealth transfer, mm -hmm. which is literally kind of what we're waiting on. You know, we're waiting on this this transfer of wealth that God prophesied about a while ago mm -hmm. to us, through us. Like something, I was like, man, I, I didn't even want to do that video. I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a catchphrase right now, wealth transfer. But the Lord said it, so I, I, I put it out there. And I was like, why am I seeing the 1110? 
That's so weird. And not only that, in conjunction with that, I'm seeing the 99. And then one of the, oh, are you going to start doing that? And then one of our subscribers was like, hey, you said 32 was the number of covenant, but now you're saying 99 is the number of covenant. Covenant. Which one is it? Well, 32 is the number of covenant, according to New Horizons Church. Dot com had to give him a toy real quick but and we do like a lot of different research on numbers and whatnot but the number 99 there's no research for that and basically what we've done is that we've discovered yeah. what we've done is we've looked in the bible genesis 9 9 if you look at it it talks about covenant yeah um abraham was 99, 99. years old when god came to him and said you need to circumcise yourself because i'm about to fulfill the covenant yeah. You know, Jesus said the 99 are saved. I'm going to go look for the one. So the 99 were already in, in covenant, covenant. Yeah. with God. And there's lots of examples like that of the 99 meaning like you're j I'm about to fulfill. Yes. Like it's almost getting ready to be 100 sheep. And that will be the fulfillment of the covenant. Mm -hmm. uh, Abraham was 100 when, when he when Isaac, he, when was, Isaac born. was born. He received the promise, you know, and. And there's a lot, there's examples like that in reference to the uh, the 99 and all that. But it's like, it made sense that we were seeing the 1110 and the 99 at the same time because God's saying, I'm about to do this. I'm about to do this. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, okay, you've been saying you're about to do this for a while. And, you know, you said, I'm about to flood the earth with, with water. And then 120 years later, you know, what I'm saying? Your, your about to's are a little confusing. But anyway... <laughs> But he's always a keeper of his word, yes. right? And he knows we only have a short amount of time. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. But it was just like, the, the Lord was like, I'm about to do that. So when I saw that vision this morning, because the song that I woke up with was prepping me for something that I was getting ready to hear that was just like, you will get strength when you hear. You're going to wait upon the Lord and strength will rise. Why? Because you're going to hear something that's going to encourage you. It's going to be like, whoa. Yeah. And that's what we got today. Yeah. We got that vision. It was just like, oh, my gosh. In conjunction with the 101 that Elias saw last night and in the great unknown thing, yeah. going into the great unknown, all these things God's saying is like, this is what you're getting ready to step into. You're getting yeah. ready to go from this life to that life. And I know we've prophesied it before and we've said it a lot before. But it's like, if that's what God is saying, that's what God is saying. Yeah. And man, that vision of that door opening I have never, obviously, we've never seen that before. Yeah. Obviously. Because it's just like, oh, my gosh. And it's so funny because this is like palindrome week. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where, where every day of, uh, of these the, upcoming days, you know. Until the 19th. Until the 19th are all going to be tr palindrome numbers. Being, it's the same date forward and backward, which is like a symbol for us of reversing, you mm -hmm. know. And so I was just like, that 1110. I'm like, why am I seeing the 1110? Why am I seeing the 1110? Because I am about to transfer it. I am about to transfer the wealth. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. And I just knew then. I was like, oh, we got to put that other video on hold. Yeah. I mean, you felt it too, right? I was just yeah. like, we got to put this out. So, yeah. you know what? So we hope that you guys are super majorly encouraged by this, man, because it doesn't just apply to us. No. You know, a, a, a testimony for one person is an invitation to everyone else. Yeah. You know, that God is no respecter of persons. He will do the same thing for you. And um, it's just interesting. Uh, one thing that, that you may find significant, but you may not find significant, but today of all days, for whatever reason, our ability to transfer PayPal instantly to our card has just stopped. Yeah. The card that we always use for everything, it is no longer eligible for instant transfers, which means you have to get on there and you have to wait a day for all of it to transfer. That means if we're like, hey, guys, so we're in a position where we need a little support or whatever, like our video a couple days ago and, and all of that, let's say just we're, we're able to get some good amount of support on Friday well, we're still kind of in trouble because if you transfer stuff on Friday, it takes an entire business day for it to transfer. So we won't actually get it until Monday. Yeah. And so we have to start gauging everything to to uh, to come on by Thursday or else we're going to have to figure something else out. And, you know, God's good at doing that. But it's just like I thought it was just an interesting little Easter egg 
symbolism of like, I am getting ready to shut this down. Mm -hmm. This is getting ready to change. There is a physical change happening, you know, in, in our relationship with the corporation. There was some physical changes that took place in in the corporation that was just like, oh, my gosh, things are really happening. Not just on our end, but on their end. And we hadn't even talked about it. Yeah. We hadn't even talked about it. And then we, we communicated today. Wow. And it was just like, wow, God mm -hmm. is so wow. moving. I mean, their story is uh, three videos. Wow. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And it was just like, wow. So it's like, wow. I just wanted to encourage you, as we always want to do. We just yeah. want to encourage you guys that God is moving. I know this video might be a little bit distracting wow. for multiple reasons. <laughs> But um, we just really wanted to encourage you guys with that, that God is so on the move, you know? Yeah. So um, one other thing that happened, and I really feel like it's, it's kind of a showing us that we're, we're in that next level. Like, the, the 101. <laughs> the 101 class. This is the, and, the preamble. <laughs> yeah. But um, tonight, like, we went to go um, just renew for it for staying here and basically it's like uh well we're actually they're booked um tomorrow and um as you know this three two one it's the room at the end yeah. of the hallway the whole room yeah. at the end thing um well and and honestly like uh, i think it was yesterday i really felt like god was saying no you're gonna be here until until things change and until, you come until, out the until arch. we come out come out the arch and and so you know hey, we're buddy. hearing like okay you know things that this room is is booked and so you need to get a different place and mm -hmm. and so it was like that was a punch in the gut it was it was <laughs> and so you kind of start thinking oh man i guess i didn't really hear properly and and all mm -hmm. this, and, and it kind of takes you down, like, it can take you down drastically. Um, I'm sure mm -hmm. many of you have ever experienced that where you're like, wow, Lord, I thought, I thought you said this, and man, okay, Well, and it's more of just like, I know you said it. Yeah. So why are things happening the way they're happening? Yeah. And right? so, like, yeah, it just, it didn't make sense. And so, but we were like, all right, well, I guess we need mm -hmm. to figure out where we're going, and... It was just like, man, I really don't want to. We went to our old survival stuff. Well, yeah. let's just look for a hotel and let's Yeah. Know. And and so <laughs> basically though, like, finally got to this place where it's like, you know what? Um, let's just find out, you know, what happens if somebody does cancel, would we be able to stay? And it's like, Well, yeah, you yep. can as long as somebody canceled, but you know, don't know what the likelihood of that is and and basically we we have reserved a place for tomorrow night, but, and we can be back here on Sunday. And, um, but I just, we, as we were praying, it was just like, you know what, Lord? No, like we're asking that you would allow us to stay here because that's yeah. what I believe. Make I believe way. you said that we're going to be here. And, and, you know, make a way where there seems to be no way. <laughs> make the impossible possible Come on. in the name of Jesus. And so that's Whoa. what we're believing that God, we're like, all right, Lord, you can do this. And, and I just felt like for me personally that it was just this, this, hey, if you believe God has said something and it's like you just have to declare it. Mm -hmm. You have to just hold oh, fast yeah. to that and 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 start saying what it is that's going to come into agreement with what God has already said. Right. And and I'm like, "All right, because I think for me personally, it's really easy when I come up against that's things that's to that. just kind of let stuff go." Mm -hmm. And and really in this or just to kind of give in and be like, oh well, this is the way it yeah. is. If they're booked up. What are we gonna yeah. do? Yeah. You know. And and you just feel like, and I was I was I truly was upset because I was just like, I don't yeah. I don't want to go anywhere else. I don't want well, and to go through the whole process of moving and yeah, packing stuff up, and that's a stressful day. Yeah. You know, and and, and we're not used to it anymore. Yeah, I know because we've been staying in quite like the last. This place and, and the place before, we've been staying for 
a lot longer. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, it's like, all right, you know, Lord, please. Like, and so that's just what we prayed tonight. And it's like, all right, Lord, you, we've put it into your hands. We've declared it. And, you know, we're saying this is where we're supposed to be. And so now it's, it's you. And we're just trusting you no matter what happens, because the truth is, all right, if we, if we do end up going to a different place well that's what we end up doing and then we're back here it's not like anything has changed but it's like i'm but we're saying, believing for a miracle but we're believing for yeah, the miracle we're that god is saying what we want hey <laughs> you said we're gonna be here to the end so we're gonna we're gonna say yeah yes let's be here till the end not according, miss a night. To, your according word. to your word if you really did done. speak this then make way for your word to be done Make yeah. way for your will to be done. And it's like we're going to stand in faith and come into agreement and come into alignment with what you've said. Yeah. You know? And instead of, and I think the, the, the big thing for me is like realizing, you know what? If God has said it, I'm going to just stand firm on that. And I can, we can do no something No matter what about it looks it. like. It's like we can do something about it. We can declare and we can... It, speak through the power of Jesus things into existence that aren't even have never been there Mm -hmm. you know if we have the power through Jesus to see dead people raised to life and we have the power of the spirit to heal and to declare and to you know have our promises come to pass then then it's like there is no situation that has no hope there is no situation where we can't bring a change. Mm-hmm. And I think, again, tonight was just a reminder of like, well, you know, who says that you can't stay here? Oh, they <laughs> said that you can't stay here? What did I say? But what did I say? Whose report will you believe? Exactly. And so it's I like. I feel an old worship song coming on. <laughs> old praise song. And so it's like, all right, Lord, we're just. That's what we're believing. We are believing that you have said, this is where we're going to be, and this is where we're going to stay. Yeah. And and so I just... We're not going to be moved by no. circumstances. Yes. Because that's really what we went into right mm-hmm. away. We were like, oh, man, it's booked up. Why did I schedule us to get a checkout on Saturday morning? I was just not thinking. Yeah. Lord, forgive me. Have mercy. Yeah. That was just dumb. I don't know. <laughs> I was just not thinking. You know, you go, you go as far as you can. Mm-hmm. And then you go, well, hopefully some money's going to come in by the end. Lord, you haven't failed us yet. Mm-hmm. He said that to me one morning. He was like, have I ever failed you? No. Our, our PayPal was zero. I mean, it was just like zero. And it was just like, he was like, have I ever failed you yet? And I was thinking about all of our time here in Nashville. And I was like, well, no, of course not. And he was just smiling, just looking at me. Yeah. Have I ever failed you? <laughs> and then we got the money and I just, I got it till Saturday, but I don't know why. Because I guess that was the suggestion doing doing with, you know, the logistics. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. That's fine. You can check out on Saturday morning. That's that's good. Yeah. And we just scheduled it for that. And I was just like, I wasn't thinking. Yeah. <laughs> if I was thinking, you always go till Monday. Yeah. You always go till Monday morning. And you go from Monday to Thursday, then from Thursday to Monday. Yeah. That's how you do it. So you can, you can avoid this. Yeah. But it was just like, Lord, we're not going to be moved by the circumstances and be stressed out. Because it was already starting to stress us out. Yeah. Just the idea of like, oh man, like, oh gosh, what are we going to, yeah. how, how is this going to work? And what are we going to find a place? And I was like, oh gosh, I don't really want to go through all that again. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but I think if anything, God's like, hey, I'm going to use this <laughs> again. I mm-hmm. just, as a, a way of reminding you that, yeah, exactly. Whose report are you going to believe? Yeah. And, um, and so really it's just like, all right, Lord. We, we are believing you and what you say. Yeah. And um, and so, yeah, that's just our our prayer is that we will still be here tomorrow in this room. Yep. And um, so <laughs> um, basically that's all we have for you guys tonight. And um, we just pray that you guys are blessed, that you just see that God is moving and he oh is gosh. bringing about his promises that we are going to be 
walking in a parade, that we are going to mm-hmm. be shouting and declaring yes. who God is yes. and how we see him and with our opened eyes and opened hearts. And it is going to waving be our glorious. Banners. Yeah, waving yeah. our banners of what God has done in our lives. Yeah. And um, so really, um, it's, gonna amazing. it's going to be awesome. And so yeah. we just pray that you guys are encouraged and to continue to declare what yeah. God has spoken yeah. over your life, no matter what circumstances are telling you, it's gonna be keep amazing. fighting for what God has said. And yeah. so um, until next time, guys, we really appreciate you and yeah. we will talk to you soon. Yep. Bye, Bye. guys. See ya. Um...